episode nine of my TTM Thursday series. I think it's episode nine. If not, you'll probably see something on the screen that says I was wrong. Uh, this week I only have two, two returns. Um, I did open them as always, but I haven't peeked inside yet. And I will tell you a little bit about the player once I see who it is. And at the end, I'll also give the address that I use to send them cards to get signed. And hopefully they signed them, which you will find out. So I only have two. Here's the first one. Oh, I know what this is. Didn't sign these, that's okay. Pete Ward, who I had already sent to, and he had signed, I believe, seven cards for me, something like that. And I, this one he was on with Don Buford, and I knew Don Buford signed as well, so I was on it to send to him. So he did sign, really nice. It was in pen, which I prefer a little bit of a marker. That's okay, still looks really good. It's my first uh, multiple signed card. He did send back my a letter, so let me just see if he answered anything off screen here. And he did not. He did not answer, that's all right. Let's see a little bit about Don Buford. He played from 63 to 72. He had a batting average of 264. He was he had 93 home runs and 418 RBIs. He was a left fielder, a second baseman, and a third baseman. He played for the White Sox, which is what this team is, from 63 to 67. The Orioles from 68 to 72. The Tai Halo Club Lions, I'm assuming that's in Japan. From 73 to 75 and the Nakai Hawks in 1976 yep it's Japan he was an all-star in 71 he won the World Series in 1970 with the Orioles and he's in the Orioles Hall of Fame I did ask him how Pete Ward was as a teammate but I guess he didn't really want to tell me maybe that's why he didn't answer maybe he doesn't like Pete Ward maybe they are best friends but I wouldn't know because he didn't answer but that's okay I don't mind I'm really just making a joke, so hopefully no one took offense to that. And if Don Buford's watching this, it was a joke, Don. It was just a joke. All right. TTM number two. Didn't sign the cards, that's okay. Steve Balboni. He's also a really good TTMer. Um, I think he signs all the cards from what I read. Um, so this is an 83 Tops Yankees, my team. Thank you very much, Mr. Balboni. Here's his rookie card, also with Andy McGaffigan and Andre Robertson. Oh, I guess not. He did not sign the 84 Tops. Maybe he doesn't like his, his picture. Not really sure why he didn't, but... That's all right. I don't mind. I'm very appreciative that he did sign um, two out of the three. All right, Steve Balboni. Let's see what we got. Oh, Don Buford, I didn't say how old he is. He is currently 82. Steve Balboni, first baseman and a DH. He played from 81 to 93. He had a 229 batting average. 181 home runs and 495 RBIs. Man, he couldn't play for like another 15 games to get those five RBIs to, to hit that 500 mark. He played for the Yankees from 81 to 83, the Royals from 84 to 88, the Mariners from 88 to 88, so that was the only season, the Yankees from 89 to 90, and then the Texas Rangers in 93. I don't know why I wrote, did I miss something? That he didn't play from, I don't really know what I, if I messed up or not, but he was a World Series champion in 85. And he, there's something called the Curse of the Balboni. The, uh, the alleged curse was first proposed by ESPN.com columnist, columnist Rani Jazzarelli 
Uh, it ensured that no team with a player who hit more regular season home runs than Balboni had in 1985 could win the World Series. In 85, when Balboni hit a team record 36 home runs, which stood until September 2017, and the Royals won their first championship, it had only been five years since the feat was last accomplished. Mike Schmidt hit 48 for the 1980 champion Philadelphia Phillies. The feat was not repeated, however, in the 20th century. In 2001, the Diamond Racks broke the curse, winning the World Series with an outfielder, Luis Gonzalez, who hit 57 home runs in the regular season. Since then, the feat has been accomplished numerous times. All right, so basically, whoever led the league in home runs in the regular season, that team wouldn't win the World Series. That was the thing, I guess. Anyway, uh, Steve Balboni is currently 62 years old, and he lives in New Jersey, which is where I grew up. And that's all I got this week. So I got some Steve Laboni, his rookie card, and a little bit of Don Buford and Pete Ward. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and if you want to see the addresses, pay attention now.